Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, I'm back out at the beautiful community of Crossvine in Church, Texas, because right behind me is a home being built by David Weekly for one of my clients, and we're gonna do a new construction follow-up tour. Let's go check it out. All right, this is one of David Weekly's larger homes, and it is beautiful. But uh, we're gonna see what it looks like from the inside in just a second, but for now, let's look at the community. Uh, Crossvine is definitely one of my favorite communities and they are almost completely sold out. David Weekly has a few more inventory homes left to sell and Scott Felder only has a few more lots left to sell. David Weekly's next stage is to do garden homes on the other side of the community. All right, let's head on, so head on inside and take a look at this place. All right, you're gonna have a large, large front door, front porch sitting area. They do still have the builder grade door on here. And this can be a really nice three car garage in here. That's gonna be a nice garage, with really tall ceilings in it as well. All right, let's head on in the front door and do some exploring. This is my first new construction follow-up tour of this home. And you can see why. It's kind of silly to do it when it's in foundation, but they've got a lot of the framing up so right up front, looks like there's gonna be a guest bedroom with its own uh, full bath. You can see the tub there. And they are gonna have some tall ceilings in here. You can see that. And a long closet in the front bedroom. Nice wide hallway here. Now this could be the formal dining room. I'm not real super familiar with this plan, so this could be the formal dining room or media room with sliding doors on it. But anyways, this is a large room on it with a wide door for French doors there. Be a big kitchen. And this is gonna have some a little curved granite sink going on here. Along with a nice uh possibly breakfast nook area. Checking out the cool ceiling details that's gonna be in this house. and the family room area. I do see it's been uh, pre-done for your electrical box. Got the fireplace already in. Let's go look at some of these other bedrooms here real quick. The green um, that you've seen on the two by fours is for like uh, insect repellent treatment. So you're gonna have another bathroom right when you come in from the garage. A little powder room there. All right, this looks like a common room space. So if you got some kiddos, this could be a nice little play area with its own bathroom. Oops. Still haven't figured out exactly what the point is of having the water in there. Sure, something to pressurize the lines. But we've got two bedrooms here. And these are good sized bedrooms. With a nice window. Nice closet there. Tall ceilings in here as well. And the other really good sized bedroom. With a really nice sized closet. This there's coming in from the gar garage there. And you've got your utility room. 
set up for washer and dryer. Looks like this is going to be your fuse box right there, a little wiring going in. Lots of nice windows in this house. Let's go check out what your view from the backyard is going to be. Feel the wind coming through. All right, you see someone taking their dogs out for a nice little walk there, because you do have a nice trail out here. It is a beautiful spring day in Texas. You see the little soccer fields there. That's going to be for uh, Founders a Classical Academy. It's a charter school right back there. But all this space here is going to be green space and stay that way because it's a uh, uh, water over overflow zone there. Not like a high flood damage thing. The flood plane does stop kind of where the tree line is and kind of goes out. But it does, I've seen the FEMA flood maps and they kind of go from this little area here and you got a high berm going out and then around. So no damage of that getting up so high, but it does mean you're gonna have nobody behind you. But a good size patio area here. I love the eight foot doors in this house. So you have a nice little arch feature there. And then down to a regular size door. Ooh, another nice fe arch feature here from the uh, owner suite. This thing's huge. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be a regular size door because it looks they might be putting some uh, glass paneling there. I'm speculating, I'm a realtor, I'm not a builder. So kind of going through this, kind of a guessing on what this uh, home might look like once it's done. But we do have the radiant barrier up in the attic. This looks to be a nice little sitting area here. And this bathroom is gonna be a big one. We got dual vanities right there. We got David Weekly's, what they call their super shower. The really long shower with a big, uh, <clears throat> you can see the archway that's gonna go in here be a beautiful shower once it's completed. See the water closet back there. And uh, looks like this uh, master bedroom closet is going to be huge. Linen closet right here. And then start looking at the size of this master bedroom closet. Wow, that's huge. With a little different nooks in it appears. And that's gonna be going into the other. Once again, tall doors. view of the main living area. This thing is going to be very spacious and very open. All 
All right, that's going to do it for this new construction follow up tour of a David Weekly home in the Crossbine subdivision, Shirts, Texas. And uh, just um, let you guys know, I'm just a real estate agent trying to grow my business. So if you are finding these videos helpful, feel free to reach out to me. Texting's the best way. And as always, like, subscribe, and keep sharing these videos. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.